so um, the case study that we've got here uh, Marcy um, she is uh, living in a rural environment um, in uh, northern Namibia um, she is uh, performing a uh, what is uh, quite a traditional role in that society in a, a, a nomadic tribe uh, with um, her staying at home and looking after the family and food and uh, such like and then the male going out and being economically active um, and gathering food for the family um, the uh, male is uh, struggling because um, uh, to bring in the food is because the um, in northern Namibia there is um, uh, an increase there's been an increase in the population there um, and so therefore there's more people with more uh, animals that are grazing uh, that grazing has been uh, uh, eating away all of the grass which is then leaving the soil uh, so the uh, uh, clear of uh, vegetation and, uh, and so uh, the soil either uh, turns into a dust and blows away or a surface hardens uh, so water just runs straight off it uh, when it rains so it doesn't hold that water in place so as a result the new seeds are not germinating on their soil and the grass is not replenishing itself because it's getting so intensively grazed so what's happening is the um, there's a lack of food there for the cattle and so consequently they're producing less milk and this um, uh, family has the um, limited sources of food here because there's no farming going on uh, and so it relies on those cows and as they produce less milk uh, then there's less food for them um, the uh, male of the family has been trying to supplement their uh, food source through uh, hunting um, but again this is a relatively unsustainable pastime as there's lots of other people in the same position and so they're hunting a finite amount of game and once that is, uh, the, the population of that has been diminished then that won't be able to provide a sustainable food source for the family and so we're seeing an increase in desertification in this area we're seeing uh, a, a very poor uh, future for Marcy and her family um, Marcy's family have not been nourishing their children enough as there's four of these children so they're having a lot of children um, because they've already lost um, some due to infant mortality um, and so therefore they have quite a lot of mouths to feed so rather than having family planning approaches and having fewer children and providing better for them uh, due to the risk of those children passing away from uh, communicable disease the, uh, or being lost in childbirth um, the uh, family are having more children and therefore they get this cycle of problems um, the unimproved water supply that uh, Marcy has been taking food from uh, sorry taking um, uh, water from um, is likely the cause of the diarrhea which has uh, cost the life of one of her children already and is likely to cause the life uh, cost the life of her existing children um, those children uh, uh, so the new child that's to be born is also at risk along with Mar uh, Marcy because uh, there's a lack of um, health care and skilled birth attendants um, for Marcy uh, going through her pregnancy during childbirth and then to care for the children in the first five years of their life to ensure that they don't succumb to uh, ill health and these infant mortality um, uh, causes from things like diarrhea um, the family in question are uh, in a very poor position in that uh, they need uh, to provide most of their food to the male of the family to uh, keep them going whilst he goes out and uh, produces um, for the family and so that male then becomes the most important mouth to feed in the household but then this is at the cost as the things become more difficult for the family of the next generation as the children are uh, receiving inadequate nutrition and they become more vulnerable to childhood disease um, they also um, are more likely to experience uh, stunting um, as a result of malnutrition which can have a, a, a permanent effect on uh, not only their physical um, uh, their, their physical strength in later years but also um, their cognitive development as the, as they grow up um, the family are, have got chicken and two cows and in this village that means that they're relatively poor 
Um, and so this random aid visit, um, well, the family are not very powerful within the uh, politics of their local community. Uh, and so the uh, any aid that's been received gets taken by stronger families within the village. And Marcy's family is not getting very much. So the ones that would contribute from the sustainable development goals here are poverty, hunger, health, um, education, gender equality, because Mary's... Um, if, could also be producing for the family if there's a, a truly equal society here and being economically active. Uh, clean water and sanitation, uh, re um, good jobs and economic growth uh, if Mary was able to work uh, or the uh, father of the family was able to work. Innovation and infrastructure to um, provide access to health care and markets uh, for anything that they produce. Inequalities. Uh, climate action and life on land and relevant for all of the goals is the partnership for the goals so um what sort of um what sort of issues uh, do we have here for um uh in in the wider sort of political environment or the the wider societal issues well in this case um mary uh, so marty um and her family are uh, in northern um, Namibia, which uh, has very little in the way of effective pu um, political representation uh, within the uh, seat of power in the capital, Vintuk. Uh, in fact, most of the money from the country of Namibia uh, uh, is within the capital, Vintuk. Um, and so that's where most of the policy decisions tend to focus. Um, Marcy also has very little power um, within her immediate village, otherwise she would have got a, a proportionate share of the aid as it came to the village. Uh, and Marcy has very little say within her uh, immediate family, otherwise she could make a case to, uh, uh, to be able to go out and, earn, uh, and to carry out some activities which would contribute towards the household's economic income. Um, and so in the form of uh, maybe uh, some... Uh, producing some small crafts and selling them as sort of cottage industry or some uh, subsistence agriculture that she could carry out using some of the water from the spring uh, for a, a small irrigation project. Um, and so um, the wider policy environment, or the, the wider environment in which uh, Marcy lives, uh, makes it very difficult for her to be able to advocate for that. But also a lack of education for Marcy and her children uh, also means that it's very difficult for them to access information about how to improve them uh, themselves and their um, their environment. Um, and it makes it more difficult for the children to go out uh, of the village environment in order to become economically active using that education uh, in more urbanised locations, um, such as the nearby town Apu. Um, the environmental health and public health can do a great deal to impact on the um, the health of uh, Marcy and her family. And most notably, the uh, Marcy is going to be uh, in a position where uh, she's in the cycle of poverty. Her fam whole family is, where uh, a lack of nutrition then makes it more difficult to um, uh, work and earn more money, which then means that you get less um, income, so less food, so therefore uh, less nutrition. Um, and so the cycle repeats and this can be a generational thing as the next um, um, the next uh, generation of Marcy's family uh, can suffer from stunting and malnutrition in their childhood years uh, which can then have long-term developmental implications for the children uh, reducing their strength and ability to work and reducing their cognitive uh, abilities to be able to use their mind to, uh, uh, to uh, improve their lot in life um, and so it, um, in public health and environmental health we can uh, make small interventions like um, providing a very small injection of cash to allow Marcy um, to invest in some tools that she can use to um, till the land and to start pr uh, and to produce so to provide some education to allow her to um, be able to understand uh, how to grow about a uh, uh, crop hus uh, animal husbandry or sorry, crop husbandry and to be able to grow some of her own crops to either sell at market um, or to um, provide such as tobacco leaf or to uh, provide um, for further nutrition for her family 
to supplement the decrease in nutrition that they're getting from their animals. Um, the uh, Marcy, so in environmental health and public health, uh, you can also work with communities to try to advocate for uh, more uh, empowerment of women within the family household and within the village itself. Uh, you can bring women together in order to get them to uh, work as cooperatives, uh, either for crafts of uh, cottage industries or for uh, farming cooperatives, so they can work together to pool their resources um, in things like uh, small scale irrigation schemes and small scale crops um, uh, growing and then food, uh, food selling um, at markets, so they're able to pool their efforts to improve the lot of the whole village. Um, on a wider basis, you can advocate for uh, so you you can uh, prof advocate for uh, better rights uh, and more consideration of the uh, developmental requirements um, to uh, for the people living in the northern half of Namibia, um, uh, who are relatively unrepresented at the political centre when funding streams um, are decided upon. Um, you can attract overseas aid to try to uh, do things like improving the road infrastructure around the area, making it easier to access local markets. Um, and you can do um, uh, inventive work to do things like trying to take advantage of some of the um, local uh, geographical features. Um, uh, in this case, in, in northern Namibia, you're, uh, um, it's a uh, not very clear from the literature but they've actually got quite a few uh, 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 caves there which can be uh, locals can guide uh, tourists as they travel down from the skeleton coast to South Africa um, they can uh, take them on guided trips around these caves and quite large uh, or also take them for um, uh, uh, walking trips around the bush there to see some some of the remaining wildlife which then may encourage people to try to uh, preserve some of that wildlife um, the uh, environmental and public health can provide um, uh, more mobile uh, infrastructure for uh, healthcare, um, either by moving, sorry, using motorbikes or setting up um, roving clinics, uh, mobile clinics, um, to provide healthcare for people in these um, uh, um, uh, rural and uh, uh, temporary. Uh, sorry, these rural and. Um, nomadic uh, villages um, but can also um, provide uh, education for a network of uh, volunteers within these villages to provide uh, some of the health care and some of the advice around um, uh, good uh, lifestyle choices and uh, good public health and economic uh, decision making uh, within the village and so you only then need to educate the people who then go on and do the delivery providing much better use of your resources in your modest budget. So these are just some suggestions for how you could help Marcy uh, in the rather difficult position that she's been in. Um, the benefit of, uh, uh, of this is that you only need to make small interventions to people's lives when they're in these very severe poverty uh, situations in order to uh, change their uh, cycle of decline into a cycle of um, uh, improvement and self actualization um, There's only a small loan or a small change in the way in which um, these people live their lives. Um, uh, and what they can do with themselves can uh, yield quite considerable improvements in uh, what is actually a relatively short time scheme and so it enables them to uh, then start thinking instead of the next few days and making short term um, uh, 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 short-term decisions around uh, their life but also uh, to enable them to make longer-term decisions about how they structure the community and operate uh, which then leads to uh, longer-term um, improvements and so it's trying to it allows them to look beyond how they're going to eat for the next few days and then consider how they're going to eat next year and plant crops to do that and so you see that once you, you move beyond that short-termism and that desperation of that uh, uh, sort of life or death, starve or eat situation, or uh, this situation with disease predating upon them, um, into uh, a, a situation in which they are able to uh, take, uh, they're empowered to take action to improve their lives.